Hey, hey, hey. Head high, chest up, and catch that frame, cause you is my name. So today's try-on haul is actually probably the littest try-on haul I have ever filmed. I'm not kidding. I got shoes to show y'all. I got clothes. Hella clothes. I got bags to show y'all. I'm just, I'm hitting y'all with everything in this try on haul. So if you need to go ahead and pause this video right now, get you a little snack and drink to sip on and snack on, you better go ahead and do that now, sis, because you are in for a long treat. Y'all don't believe me? Let me show you this. I have so much shit. I literally brought it to Josh's place in a suitcase. In a suitcase. You still don't believe me, do you? You still don't? Give me a second. This, okay, clothes. Clothes. Clothes, okay? That ain't all. I got bags. 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 And I got shoes. Shoes. More shoes. It's time to hop into this video. This is one of the recent items that I purchased that I literally fell in love with. Like, I really shouldn't even have to explain why I'm in love with this. Like, y'all see how fly I look in this junk? Do y'all see how fly I look in this junk? It fits so cute. I will say, however, only issue that I have with this is the fact that I had to make my own belt loop, y'all. In order for it to cinch in the waist, make it look feminine and cute and stuff, I had to make my own belt loop. It really wasn't that hard. However, I just didn't like that they only gave you like five holes. If I had it on the fifth notch, I look kind of like a square, like SpongeBob, which ain't cute. So that's why I made my own hole to cinch in the waist and it makes it look so cute, so elegant. Makes the booty pop a little bit more because it sucks in the waist. Y'all see that? And other than that, I really love this. I have nothing else to complain about in terms of this. It's definitely one of my like favorite rompers, jumpsuits, whatever you want to call it, that I've ever purchased before. It feels really nice. Like, it's just it's just A1. Y'all gotta see the booty one more time. A. Okay, next outfit. Another item I purchased is this really cute sweater material. I don't know why I'm air quoting. It really is sweater material. Mint green tube top dress. It's so cute, y'all. Really, the color is what really got me. I'm really all about adding more color and stuff into my life, into my wardrobe. This dress is super cute and it's super comfortable. Can I even twerk a little something, something? Hey, hey. Hey. Like any tube top or dress, if you jump up and down a lot, it will slide down just a little bit. But one jump, two jumps, it won't completely just crash on you. So that's another good thing too. I wore a strapless bra with this dress though when I wore it. So just in case purposes, you know, you just, tube dresses and tops can't be trusted. Let's be real. But it's still really cute. And a little bit, you can kind of see my curves in it. Y'all see the curves? Mm. Now here we have another tube situation going on. However, I can't zip this up. I'm by myself, y'all, so my arm was struggling. Like, almost caught a Charlie trying to zip that up by myself. I have tried this on and somebody else zipped it up for me and it fits like a glove. This doesn't fall down at all. But I love this freaking jumpsuit. It actually gives me like Adidas vibes. And when I purchased it, I thought that these two lines were on both sides. They're not, it's cool. This is my good side anyway. So when I take my picture, it's gonna be like this, okay? Usually I don't even wear jumpsuits because they either don't fit me long enough or correctly or they like mess up my curves where they give me like a flat back. I'm not getting any of those problems from this. It hugs the back part very nicely. They obviously fit super long on me. Hopefully y'all can see that. It also doesn't cut off my circulation. You know how some like corset tops or just sometimes just like suck you in, you know? When I eat, I'll be okay in this. This is definitely another favorite item of mine that I purchased. If it was close together, this is pretty much how it would look slash fit. I'm gonna give y'all a close up. It's super cute. It's also um, like a jersey material, just like Adidas items that you might buy. If it's an Adidas two-piece jumpsuit or Adidas jackets, a lot of people wear. It's literally that material. Actually, another item that I purchased that I fell in love with. Do you see how good this looks on my freaking melanin though? Honey, can't nobody tell me nothing in this dress, okay? It actually fits very nicely. It's a very cute rib material. It actually has a zip, goes all the way up, but, oh, I guess it's kind of cute all the way up, but I like a little chest showing because I like to wear my chains, which I don't have on today, which feels funny, and why the hell isn't the zipper 
coming down. Okay. As you can see, I have a dong to dong 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 in this. And yeah, there's really not much else to say about it. I just love the color, love the fit, love the material. It is stretchy. You can pull it down, but it kind of get. Oh, it doesn't even give you a flat back, actually. This probably is a dress that like rides up slightly, but overall, I think this is really cute. Give you a catwalk. See, it definitely rode up a little bit. This is the next item, this lavender long sleeve fitted rib dress. This is probably the most comfortable item I have out of everything, y'all. When I say this stretch, is insane or like and you saw how it snapped back though you saw that uh -huh. the sleeves fit incredible the, like I, I i wish i could have this every day i really wish y'all could reach through this doggone screen and feel this material love 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 this freaking dress i actually was going to hold off at the end to show you the bags but i have this really cute bag that goes so nicely with this dress that i just have to show you guys right now so give me a second isn't this bag one of the cutest things you have ever freaking seen look how cute I recently went to a pop-up event for Nordstrom in Chicago and they were like having a collection launch that was full of different bomb ass bags that I'm actually going to be showing you guys some along with this one and it just matches so nicely with this dress y'all and and your hand just slips through the back sis so you just carry it around like this just like that just like that <laughs> oh shit I really love this dress Love this bag that I'm gonna be rocking with it. And yeah. On to the next item. So before I throw on the top to go with this, I just want to show you guys what this bralette is looking like. It's not the most comfortable because it doesn't have like much stretch or security to it. Or maybe I should have got a size smaller. This is what it looks like up close. It's pretty cute. Y'all see it from the back. There we go. Oh! I just don't like that my boobs just feel like they can just pop out, you know? Like if I just move wrong, which is why I probably would never wear this just by itself. Oh, I forgot to acknowledge the leather pants too. I actually, I like these. They have a decent amount of stretch to them. Yeah, there we go. The length is decent. They could have been a tad bit longer, but I'm just happy that I found some leather pants that are, well, faux leather pants that are suitable for somebody like me. My body type and my height, it's usually really hard to find some that will fit decent, that I'm comfortable in. So, yeah, these are win. Let me show you the top, though, that I would always wear with this bralette. It, it doesn't fit as well as I thought it would. Like, it has stretch in some areas, but in other areas it doesn't. I just, I don't really know how I feel about it. I do wish, obviously, the sleeves were longer, but it stretches, so that's why it's like, uh, okay. But my problem is, when it's done stretching, when I'm done pulling it down, it goes back to kind of short-ish. I don't know. It's something simple that can be fixed. I can just pull them up just a little bit, which is cool. But I don't know. It has a high neck area, which I really didn't know was going to fit like that. And then the back of it kind of slopes a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. Just a slight slope. Maybe I'm wearing it. No, I'm not wearing it backwards because the tag is in the back. So, yeah. This is how these items look. These are okay. The next item I picked up is this cheetah print top, which is a little outside my comfort zone. Because one, I don't really think I have any cheetah print clothing item, period. And then also this little sexy, sexy circle that it got going on. Yeah, that's different. But I don't really got no boobies to work with anyway, so it's cool. I think this is so cute. It ties around in the back. I don't like though, I'll insert the picture here, the fact that I feel like the model or the website made it seem like these strings would be a little bit longer. They just, they're just little nubs. I don't really like that. I feel like it should have elongated a little bit more. And I, I freaking wrapped the hell out of this around my waist. I really can't go no tighter than this. So yeah, that part's kind of interesting. I guess I could always just have it wrapped just in the back, but I don't know. Something about bringing it around front makes it a little cute to me. Overall, the top is pretty cute i'm pretty satisfied with it the girls are in there locked and loaded they ain't going nowhere oh and i definitely forgot to mention if y'all see any bloating in this area i ate a lot today probably more than i should have so it's just a fupa 
with food, okay? That's it. Nothing else. Nothing more, nothing less, okay? This is my new favorite pair of jeans that I'll get into in a second. But the goal for a lot of the things that I purchased in the recent months was bottoms. I have so many tops and not enough bottoms that either fit my legs good, are comfortable, whatever, whatever, to go with the thousands of tops that I have. So I have hella bottoms to run through real quick. This is the first pair that I want to show you guys. Oh, this also is a tank top that I got from Misguided. Cute basic white tank top. Okay, but the pants, let's get into these pants. They are such a vibe, y'all. Like, I love the fact that these are like that 90s type denim that people love wearing. You know, that like light wash. And then it has a little slit on the side. And can y'all see the length on these things? Your girl is 5'9". I've never had a pair of jeans fit me this perfectly. And they fit my waist too. I don't need to get them cinched in. Like, there's no gap. The booty look good. My thighs can breathe. They're not like, they're not like, like suffocating me, you know? And they definitely don't have any stretch at all, which is fine. A lot of jeans don't, which I kind of prefer, especially for these type of like 90s jeans. So these jeans are A1, sis. That's all I got to say. They're A1. By the way, while I have this outfit on, I'll go ahead and show y'all another bag that I got. It's actually from London. If you watch my London vlog, then you would know that. But it's cool. No hard feelings. It literally says, I didn't ask your opinion. I think this bag is so sassy and so cute. I definitely noticed that beaded bags are in style also. This gold bag is from Pretty Little Things that I got offline. But I just noticed these beaded bags. Something's happening there. Okay, ladies? Just saying. By the way, speaking of London, this skirt is something I picked up at a London store called Bershka. Bershka, I think. I'll put it in the description box below. But I definitely noticed, I think as a lot of you guys have, the satin skirts are definitely in. And they don't have to be fitted. They're a little flowy. People pair them with like gym shoes, sandals, heels, like anything. They're very versatile items. They can be like dressed up or down, which I think is super dope. So yeah, y'all know I'm very much, well, I think y'all would know, I'm very much into bright colors, especially neons or melanin. So when I saw this, it was screaming my name. I had to get it. I really think this is so cute and so elegant, and so flowy, and just everything. Something else I'm very much so into nowadays and that's a new trend are flare legs. Dramatic flare legs are definitely in and pretty little things were not playing when it came to flare legs on these jeans y'all like I'm 5'9 how are these dragging on the floor? How's that possible? I'm definitely here for it a little bit however I will say, I had to reorder these. Um, the first time I ordered them was in size 8. Had a little bit of stretch to it, but like realistically, if I gained any more weight, I wouldn't be able to fit them and they definitely wouldn't be comfortable. So I wanted to go ahead and get a size 10 that fit me a little better and has just a tad bit of a gap back there, which is cool because I think my booty gonna grow anyway, so that's fine. But yeah, the booty looks very nice in them. And honestly, the gap in the back can be fixed with like a belt if I just throw on a belt with these. Overall, definitely think they're cute. They had a little bit more room in them, which I prefer rather than them being too tight and unbreathable, so there you have it. I also went ahead and picked up some mom jeans and shorts and stuff in this little shopping spree stuff that I went through this summer. I realized in my wardrobe I really didn't have any shorts other than like workout shorts and stuff. And I like my legs to breathe a little bit other than just my skirts and dresses. So picked up these mom jeans. They are a little bit big for my waist. I kind of prefer them to be high waisted and cinched, which means a decent amount will have to kind of be cinched in in the back. But either way, these definitely give me like 90s vibe. Here's also another pair of mom shorts or whatever you want to call them that I picked up. Have a little fold at the bottom of them. Fit my waist and booty very nicely, by the way. They definitely are a little bit more snug, which I like. I definitely feel like I can move around and I don't have to worry about them like falling down or anything. Those other ones won't fall down either, but they won't stay high-waisted. These will stay high-waisted. Another pair of pants that have been long overdue for me are some joggers, or no, cargo pants, not joggers, cargo pants that fit me nicely. Like these are perfection. I got these from Misguided. They fit so nice. I still have scrunch left at the end. I know I keep telling y'all my hype, but since I'm 5'9", and I still have scrunch though, like, 
what? I've been looking for some freaking cargo pants that fit me like this and I have finally found them. And I actually knew they were, well I didn't know they were going to fit this long and this nice, but I do like that their website in particular shows you how tall the model is, like you'll say the model's height and what size the model is wearing. So lately I've been basing my purchases off of that. If it tells me the model's height and the model's like 5'8 or taller and it fits her nicely, obviously I'm like, oh okay, like that's for me. So I liked that it fit her so nice that I got these and a black pair also that fits me just as nice. Same amount of scrunch, very high waisted, booty looks good. This was definitely a win for me, like a huge win for me. Cargo pants that fit nicely and long and just like, y'all don't understand how long I've been looking for some freaking pants like this. I finally have them. Now another pair of jeans that I got are really different that I don't have any jeans like this in my wardrobe at all are these jeans. They give off 90s vibes. They gave me Lizzie McGuire, even Steven. They kind of remind me of that type of era which I like and I have so many high rise pants. I feel like it was time to add a little bit of versatility into my wardrobe so these are really cute. They're very like leisure, loungish and give me that tomboy vibe. They fit right at the bottom of my ankle which is cool <laughs> and yeah they fit my waist very nice too I really don't need a belt at all for these my bad y'all I also forgot to show y'all that those big flare blue jeans that I showed y'all I got the same type of style in white now this goes to show you the problem with freaking online shopping sometimes both pants were pants that I sent back after the first time because I ordered them both in size 8 right so the 8's in the blue Fit, but they were too tight and I just knew if I gained one more pound they weren't gonna work. The eights and the size white I couldn't even get my thigh through, okay? Fast forward to now, ordered a second batch because I was like, I had faith in them, they were really dope, I wanted to keep them around, I wanted to put them in my wardrobe, right? The size 10 in those blue jeans, they were dope, they had a gap in the back because they were so big and the uh, length of them was on stupid, okay? The white ones, size 10. No gap at all. They're definitely long, but they're not draping. Like, they're not dragging on the ground like a mop. It just goes to show, these are the same exact pants, two different colors, where they're supposed to be the same exact pants, but they're made so differently. Like, these almost feel like the size 8 in the blue ones that I ordered the first time. So, that kind of bothers me because to have it fit a little bit bigger, you're telling me I would have had to order a size 12. That's just ridiculous. That's why I don't really care for size charts for some brands because it's just like, bruh, come on. Anyway, I don't want to keep complaining. Overall, I like the jeans. I just want to explain to you guys that sometimes you can be ordering the same exact style, just get a different color, and you might get two different things. I don't know what that's about, but tis what it is. Anyway, I want to go ahead and show you guys another bag that I got from Nordstrom, the pop-up shop I was invited to. This is so cute, y'all. Like, I damn near want to go back to school just to flaunt this backpack because I know I look cute in it. Y'all see the teddy material? It's baby blue. This bag is so freaking cute. Yes, honey. Yeah. Now y'all, in addition to my wardrobe lacking pants, like bottoms in my wardrobe, I literally all my life until recently avoided white pants for the most part because they get dirty. White period. White shirts, pants, dresses. Just because I was like, dang, I can't. I can't keep it clean, blah, blah, blah. But I don't know. The older I'm getting, I'm realizing I feel very womanly in white. I feel like can't nobody stop me. I'm untouchable in white. So I started going a little white crazy, which is cool because... Now I'm pretty set on white pants to be honest, but this is one pair, well another pair of white pants that I got. It has a little fringe at the bottom to make them kind of cute and a little bit casual honestly. I feel like the fringe makes them casual, which will explain my next pair of white pants I'm about to show y'all. But for the most part, these are kind of like mom fitted, but they're not jean material. They're kind of like, if you know Dickies, you know them dicky pants. They're kind of like that, but on the thinner side. They're definitely not denim. They're not denim, that's all I can say. But they fit very nicely. They're high waist. They got mom vibe to them in the fringe on the bottom, which I think is cute. Third pair are these white pants that are almost identical. They're just as high waist. Only difference is it has a little bit of like distress for some reason right here. And it doesn't have fringe at the bottom. They fit me longer which I like so I feel like these are a little bit more on the like I could dress them upside well both of them white white is white I guess I don't know I have an excuse for buying two different pairs something's wrong with me this top kind of matches with the pants so I decided to just show y'all 
what the top is looking like super cute mimics um like reptile snake skin but it's like mesh but it's not too mesh where you can see my boobs at least i hope not it's a super cute sleeveless top really like it not much to say about it hopefully y'all can see that yeah super cute this is actually the last pair of pants that i have to show you guys they fit incredible like they have a nice little stretch to them they hug my waist nice but still show my booty off nicely and the laces that life it's there so this is definitely my new favorite pair of black jeans There's really not much to say about them they just look really good i really like the way they make my booty look too yeah and one more thing another little bag i picked up from the nordstrom pop shop they really hooked your girl up i'm not even gonna lie to you this little cute black teddy backpack it's black and white hence why i put back on the white shirt to look a little cute just wanted y'all to see wanted y'all to see the overall picture you know this teddy backpack is so cute it's miniature so it's smaller than that baby blue one but i just think this is so adorable oh y'all yeah, almost forget about i think the actually one and only jacket i have out of this full haul this white crop jacket i have a white oversized one that i got from forever 21 men a while ago but sometimes i don't always want to wear like oversized clothing so i definitely like that i picked this up and it actually has a little bit of stretch to it like it's denim material but it stretches a little bit it's cropped it just it's real cute it's very cute fits my arms very nicely it's just it's bomb okay it's just bomb only a few more items left y'all this is one of them though some denim shorts that like 90s black denim um that i got from london the only reason i didn't blend this is because uh, for some reason whenever i wash these i think they shrink even though i don't put them in the dryer so this hole is kind of giving me grief and i just got my nails done today and i refuse to break a nail y'all see what it is it, it'll fit if it was acting right so yeah these are super cute definitely feel like they still show my figure really nicely show my legs nicely without showing too much of my like privacy got these and i actually liked the way they look so much i also got some blue ones as well that are again that 90s type of light wash denim that i love i just love how like they feel secure i just feel so secure in them booty won't pop out fits around my waist so i don't have to worry about them falling down at all these just fit so nicely i don't remember if i said where they're from but they're from monkey i purchased both of them when i was out in london but monkey has a website so I'll leave the link in the description box below I do have something to show y'all to pair with this which is actually this cute little purse that I picked up from pretty little things when I was in LA it was one of the items that they gifted to me well I was able to select it and they gifted to me for free I thought this was so cute and so different but it's definitely like another item that's like a staple piece where your outfit can't really be doing too much it's just very different and very unique I've never really seen a purse like this before so, all right last two items i'm not lying this time oh wait we got shoes we got shoes bear with me y'all i don't have like any red tops in my wardrobe so i'm really into racer tops so i went ahead and picked up this red one it's really cute very simple and plain but it is red so finally i have a red item that is in my wardrobe and something that will set this red top off honey wait for it bam this super freaking cute mini backpack again shout out nordstrom's this is the final bag that i picked up from the nordstrom pop shop doesn't this give you guys such like fresh prince of bel-air vibes i think this backpack is so cute i love color block items like this this is just so it's so bomb it's just so bomb it has little hints of corduroy with it i just think it's so dope so yeah decided to hit y'all with that at the very end we're almost done y'all just got the shoes to show y'all and then we're good to go so let's hop into these shoes so the first pair of shoes that i got for y'all are these super cute nikes they're um like pastel colored and i was actually inspired to pick these up because of that long sleeve lavender dress that i showed you guys that felt so amazing and really stretchy and that mint green sweater material um bandeau dress i guess that's what you call it because it has those colors in it so i was like oh that would be really bomb to like pair because i'm that type of girl instead of wearing heels or sandals with dresses i like wearing gym shoes i definitely think that's a vibe so these are super cute pastel nike gym shoes i'll give you all a closer look i think they are so fire though i really don't know how to show them off there are some shoe influencers that just know all the angles and how to make the shoe look real appealing hope y'all got a good idea 
So these are really cute. A while ago, I also went ahead and picked up these Nike shoes as well. They definitely gave me 90s energy, like retro, like 90s retro energy. I think they're so cute. They got hints of neon and orange in them, but for the most part, they're white with a light gray along the side. So really like these. They are super comfortable, by the way, y'all. Like, I'm all about comfort, bruh. All about comfort. And yeah, I'll give y'all a close up real quick. It's what they look like. They're super nice, y'all. Yes. Yes. Super dope. Another Nike pickup are these all white. I really didn't have a pair of all white shoes. And I got another pair of all white shoes I'm about to show y'all that are OGs and originals. Y'all probably already know what I'm talking about. But I wanted to be able to wear white shoes but versatile. I didn't want to wear the same pair of white shoes each time I wanted to wear white shoes because I feel like that's how they get dirty fast. So I decided to get two different pair of white shoes. This is one of them. This is definitely more of like leisure, casual. Here's a close up of them. They're really cute. If you see they're a little dirty it's because I've definitely worn them. I'm that type of girl. I don't just buy the shoes just to have them be cute y'all. I actually wear the shit. And the other pair of white shoes y'all probably already know what I'm talking about is the Cocainas. The Nike Air Force Ones, low top. I had high top ones. They're actually dirty. I need to order some new ones. But I just wanted low top because I peeped some girls were wearing them and it looks so cute and they had the anklet with it. You can't see anklets with high top white Nikes, obviously. So I wanted low tops. They're real cute. I'm trying to keep these bad boys real clean. Like I said, these are the ones that like, I've seen some girls, honestly, pull off. Actually, if I insert a picture here, my girl near the light pulled off some Cocaina Nike Air Force Ones with like, a female suit like a woman's suit type thing like I've just seen girls really pull it off even if it's like dressy so yeah I wanted some white cocaina I went ahead and grabbed those this is actually my first pair of low top ones the other ones like I said were high top only so these are super nice keeping them clean I did I think I creased them just a little bit because I did wear them but it's okay it's okay in the pictures they'll still look crispy and I actually got another pair of are these called yeah Air Force Ones but these are whoa it's really bright come on there we go these are actually really different I got them in gold y'all my OG video members know I love gold like love gold so much and I thought it was like just dope and different actually I posted a picture on Instagram in them so I'll just insert it here like they just make the outfit look real cute so yeah got these super nice <laughs> oh yeah it has this little thing I didn't take it off because I thought that it was supposed to be there I don't know either way they're super cute and then these bad boys are my last pair some all black that I actually have yet to wear yet to wear I haven't worn them yet I haven't worn these yet some all black ones I think these are so dope and so like sporty and cute I don't know y'all I just I'm really excited to wear these they're definitely a sporty vibe but I would not work out in these because I want them to remain clean and like cute you know crispy so yeah these are more like my fashionable trainers give y'all a quick close-up yeah 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 Okay. If y'all want me to start doing more try-on hauls and like more up-to-date ones so when I buy it, film it, then please be sure to give this video a thumbs up because that will let me know and inspire me to get it done faster because this was hard. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I wonder how many items I tried on. I don't know. It was a lot. But I really hope it was worth it because I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whew. You girls out of breath. I'm thirsty. Real thirsty. Again, if you are new to Beauty Gang and you have not subscribed yet after seeing all that slayage, I don't know what's wrong with you, sis, but you need to just go ahead and join the fam. We got you. We'll hook you up, okay? But, yeah. Really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and again, subscribe if you are new. Beauty Gang is obviously lit. And until next time, guys. Bye. One time it be confident, slap two times cause you're on the way. Never gave a damn about what they say, cause you handle all your business on a day by day. Head high, chest up, and catch that frame, cause you.